This is Compassion Corner in downtown Davis. It was years that he would sit here. David Bro's Corner, the man known as the Compassion Guy, because of his genuine curiosity about people's compassion. The city dedicated this unique mosaic stone bench in his memory. Those who knew Bro say he is noticeably missing from his corner. There's a little bit of a hole. He was a nice person. He didn't deserve what happened. Um, nobody did. Eight months after the stabbings, the community still can't understand why former UC Davis student Carlos Dominguez is accused of killing Bro and another college student, 20-year-old Kareem Abdul Najim, while he was riding his bike in Sycamore Park. A third victim, Kimberly Gulleroy, survived her stab wounds. It was uh, horrific to hear all these incidences because I on my lunch break walk the parks all the time and I felt pretty scary about it. Dominguez had a five-day competency trial in July to determine if he was mentally able to stand trial for murder. His attorneys say he suffered a schizophrenic break last spring. The judge sent Dominguez to a state hospital after the competency trial, but this week the court received a report that Dominguez has been restored to competency. I'm glad. You know, justice deserves to be served. It's only right. I don't think he's mentally stable to stand trial, no, no. I mean, uh, things could have changed, it's been a year, he might have gotten some help, but that was pretty mental stuff that was done. Mona Bush walks by Najim's memorial almost every day. And I send my prayers, but yeah, that's always a remembrance that this is what happened here. The jury and the judge and everybody will figure it out. In Davis, Michelle Bandur, KCRA 3 News.